So now what we're going to learn is finding the inverse of a function. Uh, one thing that we've talked about when we're doing uh, inverses is, you know, we've talked about a function is something that has an input and an output value. When we're looking at finding the inverse of that function, what we're going to do is actually switch or flip-flop our in input or output. So therefore, if we had like a coordinate point, you know, is x, y, really what we're doing, and let's say that was, uh, you know, 3 comma 2, when you're finding the inverse, what we're going to do is we're going to flip those two coordinates. So what we're really doing is we're interchanging our input and our output values. So we're interchanging our x and our y values. So when we want to represent that with a function, what we can do is we can interchange our two values. So remember, x is our input, f of x is our output. A lot of times, though, when we're graphing, we would always like to write it like this, y equals 3x plus 1, right? Because we have y and an x-axis, so it's really easier to use y than f of x. But really, y and f of x mean the exact same thing. So the first thing, when you want to find the inverse, is you're going to change it out for y, because it's a little bit easier to uh, do your algebraic uh, process with y. Then the next thing is now, let's interchange our x and our y values, because that's the definition of inverse. It's interchange. So let's change them out. Flip our x over y. And then the next thing we need to do is now solve for y. So we need to use our algebraic um, <clears throat> process here to subtract negative 1 on both sides. Then I divide by 3. Therefore, my answer is y equals x minus 1 divided by 3. So therefore, the inverse, if f of x is 3x minus 1, f inverse, which we're at with a little negative 1 up there, f inverse of negative x, or f inverse of x, is x minus 1 over 3. And that is how you take the function and find its inverse.